Hey, we're live. Hey, everybody. This is Tom Nixon with Ready to Speak. And it's uh, coffee time. It's coffee time. It is April 4th, 2020, and we're in the thick of it. It's a Saturday. It's starting to settle in with everybody. This is serious stuff. This is real. We're not going to wake up, and it's going to be all gone someday. It's it's real. So we're having to figure out how to how to deal with this. And um, there's a string of ideas I want to mention today, and I think that they they are all connected in some way. And the first one actually is the term connection. We are connection animals. We are. We are beings that want to be connected. We want to touch each other. We want to be with each other. We're social. Uh, when we fall out of grace in our social uh, environments, uh, a lot of times we get into trouble. Uh, we become lonely. We become uh, antisocial. Bad things happen. So it remains to be seen what all this isolation, everybody six, at least six feet away from each other. Uh, my wife and I basically do not see anybody outside our house. Um, we go hiking maybe a couple of times a week and we stay away from people. We don't talk to them. We don't interact with them. So it is a huge disconnect. And we are, as 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 social animals, as human beings, we want to connect. We want to have interaction with other people. We want to feel part of a group. So this is a big, big strain on us as human beings. That's one thing. As business people, as people who want to get on in the world, who want to uh, wake up from this thing a month, two months, three months, a year from now, and get on with life, get on with dealing with the world and maybe earning a living or making connection with people, making, uh, doing some sort of real contribution to the world, we have to uh, somehow awaken from this and get on with things. And I think that there is a general malaise that's falling all over the world of um, sadness, of uh, um, feeling like this is hopeless, that that we're uh, this is never going to end, or it's going to end badly, or it's going to end in a world that we don't want to be in. And all that may be true. I don't know. I don't. I can't tell the future. But I do know this: when it comes to the big, to the finish of this thing when this disease is conquered and and it will be i suppose we're um it, when we can put it behind us a little bit and we start lifting our heads out of the little burrows that we're in and looking around and seeing if it's safe to come out i think the people who are going to succeed the people who are going to get on with life the people who are going to be have some chance at a a happy successful life and career are the ones that have the most confidence. And I think <laughs> confidence is such a funny thing. It's like um, we send our kids to uh, baseball and we give them trophies or we send them to school and they get A's for doing work that's no big deal and thinking that this is going to build their self-esteem, this is going to build their confidence. But confidence comes, to me anyway, from being put to the test, from being being uh, under the the gun, the stress test, the the bad things that can happen to you, and then figuring out a way to get through them, figuring out a way to survive, figuring out a way to thrive in the midst of stress, in the midst of anxiety, in the midst of challenge. Confidence, we have to earn it. It, it, it can't be something that is just given to us with a a, uh, a participation trophy like our, our kids might get in uh, uh, little, uh, you know, preschool soccer. They've got to earn it. And um, to earn it, you have to be tested. To earn it, you have to struggle. To earn it, you have to be, you have to fail, I guess. To you have to you have to be crushed. You have to you have to be told no and no and no and no and still find a way to do it. So this is our time. This is our time to to find that confidence, to find that courage to say, this sucks. This is terrible. This is the worst that could possibly be. But I'm going to make sure I get through this. I am going to fight my way through it. Every day I'm going to get up. Every day I'm going to push myself ahead. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to keep my spirits positive by my attitude. I'm going to elevate as much as I possibly can, even though there's times um, uh, and like like uh, I wake up very, very early in the morning because uh, 
um, I have a bad knee and my knee wakes me up the pain and I have to get up and uh, sit up for a little while and then I can go back to bed. But during that time at two or three or four o'clock in the morning, that's when the dark thoughts come. That's when everything seems hopeless. That's when things seem down and, and uh, this is not going to end well. Um, but you can fight that. You can choose to fight that. You can choose to build a positive attitude to elevate yourself, to say, I can do this. I can get through this. I've done this all my life. I've pushed. I've, I've worked hard. And hard work is the engine that's going to make this all come together eventually. So I know a lot of people are, are talking online now about keeping positive, keeping that spirit alive and everything like that. But th there's a real reason that that's critically important. Because when we come out of this, the people who are going to thrive, the people who are going to be successful, the people who are going to have a running start, I think, are the ones that have built that up and are ready to go and say, yes, now's my time. The sun has come back up. The dawn is breaking. Let's go. Let's get going. So I think confidence and keeping that positive attitude is the critical tool that we all need. And as a speaker coach, as a presentation coach, I believe one of the best ways to develop confidence, and, and this is going to sound like a shameless plug, but I really do believe this, is through learning to become a better communicator, learning to stand up in front of a group of people or online, being having an online presence and connecting with people, delivering a message, delivering a powerful message that, that contributes to their lives, that makes their lives better, and makes you feel like you've uh, elevated the little tiny corner of the human world that we're, we live in just a little bit. That's what brings confidence to me. That's when I feel like I'm at my best, when I feel like I've contributed, when I feel like I've helped somebody. And it comes through communication, I believe. So when you talk about uh, our lack of connection with people and how that's been uh, pretty much hammered down because of this virus thing, and the need for us to build confidence for when this all comes through, all comes through, when we get to the end of this, when we get and we can poke our heads out of our burrows, uh, and, th and we need to rebuild those connections. Communication is the thing that's going to do it. And it doesn't need to be necessarily the huge stand on a stage and deliver the brilliant keynote presentation that everybody applauds and, and all that. But it needs to be the ability to connect. And if you're in business, if you're an expert, if you're a, uh, a consultant or a professional like an architect or a lawyer or anybody who uses... Uh, or who t who takes their skills and puts them out into the world and tries to get other people to buy into them and to use you. Communication is that critical, critical skill. So it's all about connection and it's all about building confidence and being ready to go when the starting gun starts again. And uh, the tool that you will use to become successful, I firmly believe, is communication. So don't lose your communication skills. How do you do that? I guess... Um, I think the best way is to get online, to connect with people online, uh, connect with your friends, connect with your family, learn to be a better presenter online. And there's specific things you can do to be more professional, to be uh, more connected, to be more organized. So, uh, and I'm not going to go into those now, but, and, and hopefully over the next few days, I will dabble into some of those things, give you some idea of what you can do now to build your communication skills. But if you're not getting ready for what's going to happen in a month or two months or three months when the world opens back up again, you're consigning yourself to failure, I feel. So the connection will come back when we're when things are ready, when we get the all clear. Build your confidence up now. Build your communication skills up now. Write a blog or learn to communicate orally. Uh, uh, do a, a podcast. Do a video like this. There's all sorts of ways you can do it. But it's critical. You need to keep moving ahead. Uh, uh, and, and that's what I plan on doing. Keep moving ahead. Keep trying to connect with people. Keep trying to be a positive influence and try to contribute to the world and make it just a little bit better. So thank you for watching. This is Tom Nixon. We're ready to speak. Talk to you next time. Okay, I got to turn this off now. Time for more coffee. Mm, it's cold. <laughs>